Well, it's interesting to uh, to have been having enough time to get over being uh, ashamed of parts of me which I used to think were really crazy. When I was a kid, I was a really crazy kid. <laughs> Woo! Uh, as my friend Bob and I laughed, we said we, we probably had every psychiatric, uh, each of us uh, had every psychiatric label in the book uh, when we were kids. And uh, I'm coming back to that because I'm, I've got enough time now and I'm old enough and I don't care what people think about me. Um, and I'm touching back into those places. And one of the things I love doing is, is expanding my consciousness. And I've spent uh, my whole life learning how to do it. And there are many ways to do it. You know, some people, yeah, there's just a million practices. One of my favorite ways is, is, is just uh, hug a tree. Um, another favorite way is to uh, drink a, a little bit of alcohol, not too much. If I drink too much alcohol, then all my, all my, um, my, my crazy parts, they come out and there's, my other parts are, are not around to kind of, you know, say, no, 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 you can't do that. Um, and, and I hurt people when I get drunk. Uh... So, so I've been learning how to use hypnosis to expand my consciousness, to become more aware. Um, and, and also the memory of the other times when I become more aware. And, you know, one of the, one of the times I become more aware is when I'm shocked, when I have a trauma. Uh, and I, I, I can, you know, calm myself down enough to realize, like... Oh, there was a gift in that trauma. Um, so, so recently I had an experience where uh, uh, I was uh, uh, hypnotized and I, I had a wonderful hypnotherapist by the name of Albert Nuremberg help me. And, um, and then I had two friends in on the Zoom call uh, and they, they helped me, parts of me, feel safe. Um, uh, you know, cause I've got a lot of fear parts and, um, and I'm, you know, even afraid of something new and novel and fun and afraid of fun and afraid of love and, you know, they're crazy. Um, and I've got other parts of me that are like so aware and, and the more I learn about them, I say, Hey, thanks a lot. You know, I lose something and I just say, Hey, St. Anthony, he's, he's one of my saints. Um, I, help, I, I can't find my pen knife. And, uh, and I say to my other uh, parts of me, I say, hey, where's my pen knife? And poof, there it is under that book. So here I am, I'm in a hypnotic trance. And um, one of my spirit guides comes along and says, why don't you ask to talk to the COVID spirits? Because I'm, I'm frightened of them. And uh, even though I'm enjoying staying at home and not working anymore and learning to live frugally for the first time um, and have a quiet life and not be rushing around all the time. <clears throat> so in come these strange spirits. And... Uh, and strange in that I hadn't met them before. And uh, I said, well, who are, who are you, you know? I, I, I'm, it's not how you do it, really. You, th you just kind of think curiously and like, and, I, and, and like I was kind of happy. I, w I wasn't afraid, you see. I wasn't putting any fear out. It was like, well, what's this, you know? Um, and and so they, I got it. They were they were COVID spirits, COVID nineteen spirits, and there was some other COVIDs, you know, COVID ten and 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 also COVID twenty three and twenty four and other other COVIDs to come. 
And I said, what is with you guys? What's with all this death stuff? What are you up to? And, and they came back and they said, and what's wrong with death? It's part of life. And we're part of life. And, and we're here. To, I, I said, so, so, so why are you here? And they said, we got a job to do. And I said, what's the job? And they said, well, there's some viruses that are out of control and they're liable to take down all life on the planet. And, uh, uh, you know, it's nobody's fault. It's just, uh, it's like thousands of years of these viruses getting a little bit stronger and a little bit stronger. And I said, well, where those viruses come from? Come from? Well, they came from traumas and, you know, traumas have just been stacking up and things have been getting tougher and tougher for more and more and more people. Um, and, uh, and so I, 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 I said, well, you know, how, how do you, how do you work? What, what are, what are, what are, what are these other viruses? And they said, well, they're viruses like, uh, like greed, uh, like fear, like rage, like anger, like racism, uh, like being selfish, uh, not sharing, uh, not really in harmony with life, you know, being pretty, pretty dissociated, pretty unaware of life, uh, pretty unaware of, you know, how, how I am really important to these trees and plants and they're really important to me. And I kind of, when, I, when, when, my, when my shadow parts come up, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't mind killing them, you know? Like, oh, I need some firewood, I'm cold. And instead of looking around on the ground for what the trees have given, uh, uh, I'll cut down a tree. Uh, or, 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 or instead of... Uh, Instead of um, uh, walking or, 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 or thinking, well, you know, maybe, maybe we can, can hitch a ride with somebody, uh, I, I get into a panic and think, oh, I got to get there. And I'm the only person who can get me there. And I jump in the car and I use some more gas. Um, so so it, was, it was interesting to think about, you know, what is it that's uh, affecting uh, so many people and why are people so angry at one another? And it's because they're, they got old hurts. And, you know, unless you do something, unless somebody says, gee, I'm sorry I hurt you, or I'm sorry that, uh, that this happened and I'm going to work very hard not to hurt you again, and we're all in this life together. And if that doesn't happen, then I've got parts of me that just want to take revenge and stop it and control it. Um, so the, I, I said to the COVID, uh, 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 virus spirits, I said, so how do you guys work? Like, like, you know, <laughs> I don't understand. And they said, well, uh, we're in the epiphany business. We're in the awareness business. Uh, we want to help people become more aware because, you know, like human beings have freedom of, of choice. And, you know, we think our freedom is, well, I'm going to do whatever I want. You can't tell me to wear a face mask. Uh, you can't tell me to stay at home so I don't spread the bugs and so I don't get them. Um, I lost my train of thought. Damn it. So, 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 so hopefully... In these four months that I've been locked up here on uh, where I live, I'm lucky enough to live. It's a gift where I live. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming more aware. I'm waking up. I'm having epiphanies. Isn't that a great word? Epiphany. I'm going for an epiphany. <laughs> anyway, so... So, so the, the, the COVID virus said, you know, and if people don't get a, the, from the shock of having everything stop, um, then maybe they'll get an epiphany about what life is really all about by having a friend of theirs get sick or, or die. And if that doesn't work, then, you know, they'll get sick 
and, uh, and, and hopefully they won't have to get too sick to have this <gasps> epiphany. Like, oops, oops. I've had, I've had my crawling up this ladder against the wrong wall. I've been going for me, 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 and I should be going for us, us, us. Uh, all life, all life, all life. And, um, damn it, I lost my train of thought again. It's great having an old brain. You just don't know what to expect next. <laughs> so, then, you know, if people, if people still don't get it, uh, then they'll die. And, you know, death's pretty frightening because we don't know what it is, but... Eh, over time, you kind of learn some things about death. And uh, as a friend of mine used to tell people when they'd come to her, uh, you know, hey, great, you're dying. Yeah, you should be dead by morning. Uh, and it's a lot easier when you're dead because, you know, there's none of this, none of this trauma and you're, with, uh, you're in a love dimension. Um, if you, if you believe that it's there, if you don't believe there, then they'll go to some unpleasant place. Um, but anyway, that's changing the subject again. My granddaughter says I ramble and I, I kind of enjoy it. Um, and, 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 and what will happen is that, you know, your ancestors, while you're dead, uh, will, will, uh, will, uh, help you. Your spiritual leaders will help you. Uh, I'm looking forward to being face to face with Jesus. I've been face to face with uh, uh, another uh, child of God, agent of God, who is more aware uh, than than other people. You know, he's in a league with Jesus and Mohammed and White Buffalo Woman and Spider Woman and. Uh, Quixaquatl and all these other other uh, uh, agents of of God or agents of all that is, um, Lotsi Buddha, um, and so we'll get to spend some time with them, with that those energy fields, and and it will heal our our traumas, and we'll come back uh, refreshed. I, 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 I love uh, being with my Christian friends who've experienced uh, epiphanies and they realize, oh, yeah, this is about love. This is not about hate. Like love the young unwed pre pregnant mother or uh, mother of six who wants an abortion uh, because they don't want to bring another child in for more suffering. Love them, I mean, or, or say to them, hey, honey, come on, we'll look after you while you're pregnant and we'll find a good home uh, to bring up your kid and you can reunite with your kid when you get older and the kid gets older. And, um, you know, that's love in action. That is, that's love in action. None of this, I'm angry at you because you're taking life or I'm angry at you because you won't let me have an abortion. No, 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 no. The ang anger's what the Dalai Lama said about say about anger or something. It's as dangerous as alcohol or something. I don't know. I get it all mixed up now. So I hope you found this uh, message from COVID uh, of some use and solace. Uh, solace is such a great word, or secure. That's another great word. Uh, healing. That's an Another great word. So I'm, I'm hoping that I don't die because I'm enjoying my life now more than I ever have. You know, 82 years, and I had to wait until I was 82 to enjoy it this much. And real enjoyment, not just phenomena enjoyment, like, oh, this, this, uh, this cocaine feels good, makes me feel good. No, no, not like that. Like, like simple, simple enjoyments. So please tell your stories. Help me out by telling me your stories. I don't read anymore. I, I listen to audio books. Uh, 
I'm listening to a, a couple of great books now. One of them's uh, on racism. You know, it's a course on on racism. It's hard. Uh, and another one's, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, My Grandmother's Hands or something like that. And it's about how trauma has just piled up over thousands of years and, and we're having to heal it. And we are. We're healing it to feel it. And we'll get through it. Okay. Thanks a lot. It makes me happy to think even one person will watch this and say, hey, thanks.